Hi, my name is Pearl Uberu, and in this demo, I'm going to show you how you can ingest your data into your lake house using streaming tables and transform it using materialized views. A streaming table is a type of table for ingesting and processing streaming data into the lake house architecture. Streaming tables have the ability to support real-time analytics and BI, as well as machine learning and operational use cases with streaming data. They can also efficiently handle high volumes of data via incremental processing versus large batches. And with simple SQL syntax, it makes data streaming accessible to all data engineers and analysts. And materialized views is not just a view. It pre-computes and stores the results of a SQL query, keeping them fresh and ready to serve. With materialized views, it's much faster to query data that is pre-computed versus querying base tables. Materialized views results are refreshed incrementally, avoiding the need to completely rebuild the view when new data arrives. And lastly, you can more tightly govern what data can be seen by consumers by controlling access to these base tables. The SQL editor allows you to query data, view data in the schema browser, build visualizations, and configure alerts. Here, we're going to ingest our data into our lake house. To do so on Databricks SQL is super easy thanks to streaming tables. Streaming tables are stateful tables designed to handle each row only once as you process a growing data set. Because most data sets grow continuously over time, streaming tables are good for most ingestion workloads. To create a streaming table, it's simple, and it's really similar to creating a regular table. Instead, we'll use the create or refresh streaming table command and then read the files from stream. Now that my customer's data has been ingested, I have created a streaming table to ingest my orders table as well. We can also create a materialized view. Materialized views reduce cost and improve query latency by pre-computing slow queries and frequently used computations. Here, I have a few lines of code to create a materialized view called orders underscore MV. Let's go ahead and run this query. We immediately see that it's erroring out. Once we read the error and then click diagnose the error, this is where Databricks Assistant comes in. Databricks Assistant is a context-aware AI assistant available natively in Databricks Notebooks, SQL Editor, and File Editor. Databricks Assistant lets you query data through a conversational interface, making you more productive inside Databricks. The Databricks Assistant has provided a solution to our error. So let's go ahead and copy and paste this, make a few edits, and then let's run this query. Now that the materialized view is created, we can see our materialized view by clicking the catalog browser and then opening up the view in the catalog explorer. Materialized views are valuable for analyst teams in a data warehousing context because they can be used to speed up end user queries and BI dashboards and securely share data.